Pointing or displaying realistic toy or soft pellet guns can bring charges as serious as pointing the real thing as two suspects discovered in two separate incidents. 46 year old April Hall is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after an incident over the weekend on Crestview. A resident told police Hall and her son had started an argument, then left saying she was going to get a gun. He said Hall returned and pointed a black handgun at him and said he was she was going to blow his head off. Police say Hall later returned to the scene and told them it was not a real gun, but only a toy Nerf gun. Police viewed surveillance video and said the gun Hall had looked real. In the second arrest, about three hours later on Saturday, police arrested Eric Warren outside Village Bowl off Kemp. Police got a report of a suspicious male in a black hoodie walking around with a pink handgun. Two witnesses told police the man came up to them in their car and showed them the gun. Then, while talking with the witnesses, officers say they saw a man matching the description walking toward them before they ordered him to get on the ground at gunpoint. From there, they said the man kept walking toward them, and then an officer fired two taser cartridges at him, and they put him into custody. They say a search of Warren recovered a small realistic pink gun in his jacket that was actually an airsoft pellet gun. He was charged with making a terroristic threat and resisting arrest. Custom